Hello everybody, welcome to JTJ Sports. Today we're going to look at the top 10 target men that are cheap and that you probably don't know. Stay to the end because the last man is amazing. So where else could I start the list? Number one is Andy Carroll. Now, I do get that lots of you will probably know him, but how could I not put him in? Um, it's 1 meter 91, which is 6 foot 3, and when he's got stats like 84 jumping, 92 strength, and uh, 91 heading accuracy, how can I not put him in? So he plays for West Ham, you can get him straight away for 30 million. He is 27, uh, but we still should have um, a good 3 or 4 years before he starts um, being downgraded. But unfortunately, obviously, unless you train, you can't, um, you can't um, make him go up. I think with training, he can get up to 79 and 80, but that's it. So Andy Carroll kicks off this list, a really good target man, but um, surprisingly, the, um, he's uh, certainly not the highest on this list. So now I've got the last scene trial, right? Unfortunately, you can get him in the first season because um, I'm pretty sure he's at Moscow. That's his parent club. But uh, in the game, when he start career, he's in Sporting Gijon. Uh, he's 26. Surprisingly, he does have a bit of potential. Uh, he can go up to 77. So he's 6 foot 8, which is 2 metres 3. And he is the uh, joint second tallest on this list. His jumping stats aren't great, he's only got 54, um, but he makes up for that in his strength, which is 92, and his heading accuracy, which is 80. So he'll get as many balls in the box as you can, and he'll certainly get on the end of them. Uh, so for Charlie, you'll have to pay around about 7 million for him. So next on we've got Makienok, who plays for Preston. He's on loan there, so once again, he can get him straight away. He's, um, I think it's from Palermo or something like that, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so he's seven, uh, six foot seven, um, which is two meters and one centimeters. So he's obviously very tall again. He's got ninety strength and eighty three head and accuracy, which is taller than um, which is taller, which is more than last seen in Charlie. But unfortunately, like um, Charlie does have poor jumping stats. He's only sixty, but you know, once again, with his um strength and head and accuracy, he'll certainly be scoring lots of goals with his head. So next up we've got Khalifa Koulibaly, so he's only 24, he's got potential to go up to 76, uh, he's 6 foot 5 and 1 metre 97. Uh, he can get him straight away, he plays for Gang, but he's not a loner or anything, and um, you can get him for 6 million, you know, inquiries, so you'll probably get him for less. Um, he's got very good strength attributes, he's got 83, 73 jumping, which isn't bad for his size, and 81 heading accuracy, so he's one of them which is um, really good buy. You know, a cheap target man that will certainly be getting you the goals. So next up we've got Hank Veerman, who's um, 25, overall 67. He's only worth 1.2 million, you can get him straight away, so he's certainly worth a punt on. Uh, 92 strength, uh, only 6 to 1 jumping though, which um, with his height is understandable I guess. And uh, his head and accuracy could be better, but for the price, you know, he's, he's a bargain I think. Um, so talking about his height, is six foot seven, uh, which is two meters one, and he can go up to seventy. Um, yeah, and uh, I, I've used him in my career with Leganis, and you're gonna see what, what him, um, what how he's doing. He's certainly, I I really enjoy playing with him. He's a, he's a great person to have up front. So this is him for me. So obviously, you know, I've only just started the game. I'm fighting for one point two million. So three goals in um six games isn't that bad, is it? And I think two of them were with his head, and one of them was a left volley. It was a great volley as well, um, supplied by the last person on the list, who is absolute beast in the air. Next up points with Fetzel Mulic, who plays for XL Muscron. Never heard of them, but never mind. He's only 62, so I think he is the worst player on this list. He's 21, and he's got a potential of 67. Uh, ultimate team players will know this guy because he's six foot seven, which is two meters three. And he's the joint second highest on this list, um, tallest should I say? Um, oh, his, his stats aren't great. He's got eighty nine strength, but obviously you can see his jumping stats only thirty three, and head and accuracy only fifty nine. But you can train him. Um, I think his head and accuracy stats can go up to seventy two, which isn't bad. And for only around three hundred thousand, he seems a bargain, especially if we, if um you start with like a lower, a lower division team, it would be perfect. Next up is Zuba. 
Uh, he's 27, uh, 17 overall, so he's, I think he's the best player on this list. Uh, he's got 93 strength, only 60 jumping, um, but he has 88 head and accuracy, which is amazing. Uh, it's 1 minute 96, which is 6 foot 5. Uh, he can't grow, you know, as in like potential. And he does cost in the region of 16 million. You can get him, I think, for 16 million. Uh, obviously, um, you'll probably remember him. He's the big tall guy that played against England in the Euros, but we're not going to talk about that. So, coming near the end now, here's Sam Gallagher. Uh, now, you can't get him straight away because he plays for Blackman Rovers. He's on loan there. Um, so, he's 69 overall, but he does have a potential of a 79. Uh, he's only 6 foot 3, which is 1 meter 93, making him the, the, well, the smallest in this list. Um, but, I, having personal experience from him, I, I really think he's a very good target man to have for your club. I mean, he only has 75 strength, 72 jumping, only 77 heading accuracy, but all of them, you can improve them really fast, and for only around 1.5 million, I think he's a bargain. I really, I really suggest that you get him, because he's got everything. Even if you train him. So next in this we have Onuachu. So this this guy's next to last on my list. Uh, he's only sixty five overall, but he's twenty two. You can get him straight away from, from what around one million. Um, so he's one of them which he will grow quite a lot. He's got potential of seventy uh, seventy five. Yeah. Um, he's six foot seven, which is two meters one, and um, I've got him. You know, he's another one that I've got on my um career for the Garnis. Uh, he's got seventy eight strength, only forty two jumping. That's his real problem. But on my career, you know, he has won lots of edges. He can train it. Um, and he only has sixty nine head and accuracy, which I did have a problem with. That it was you know, love the cross, like two yards out, headed it wide. Here he is on my career, though. Obviously, you can see. He's doing very well at the moment. I mean, six games, two goals, three assists. It's not bad at all. Got it for one point two million. Um, yeah, he's what you know. He's another one. I love playing with him. I love playing with tall players in general. You know, he's crossing the ball and winning had his. I think it's, especially with Lagana, one of the best players to win games. And last but certainly not least is Ed. Now he for me is well is is my guilty pleasure on FIFA seventeen. I absolutely love him. Each club that I'm with, I get him. Um, he's only 65, but he's got potential of 70. And he's 6 foot 8, which is 2 metres 4. And, you know, 90 strength. Uh, he's that like, unstoppable. Uh, his head accuracy isn't bad either, 73. And uh, jumping could be better. It's only 56, but, you know, once you're 2 metres 4, you're already terrible of any defender. Uh, I absolutely love him, especially in my career with Leganes. He's like a goal machine. Uh, but seriously, you know, across the ball, so he'll, he'll head it in for you. So as you can see, he is a goal machine. Um, obviously you can see that he's only on loan, because you can only get him on loan at first, because, you know, he's only recently arrived. He's very new on the game, so I doubt many of you know him. Uh, so you can get him, well, why have I got my short loan, and I'm going to buy him when it when my loan expires. So as you, can hear, as you can see here, though, I mean, seven games, six goals, you know, each one of them has been with his head. He scored two against Barcelona. Uh, he's a goal-scoring machine. He's put the right cross in. He will certainly get on the end of it. And, yeah, he's he's a real threat inside the box. And to fail one of those games, only brought him on five minutes at the end because he was a 1-0 against Deportivo. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, it will mean a lot. Um, so thanks a lot for watching. I hope it helped you. Um, if I had to pick three on this list, I think I would pick Ede, Gallagher, and, um, I don't know, probably Onuachu, if I'm honest. Uh, but certainly a great list to pick from, and, uh, good luck.